over the last 15 years, we uh, try to understand what will be the next generation of medicine. And um, at the moment, it still sounds a little strange uh, to talk about that stem cells will replace a good deal of devices and drugs which we currently have. But I believe it's the reality and why. Because in every blood vessel in your body, you have the same type of stem cells, which are universal. These stem cells can replace every tissue depending on where you inject it and they learn from the local environment. The number of stem cells in an organ is dependent on the number of blood vessels and these cells are a reserve army. They are silent, they are sleeping. Now, aging is based on the fact that the stem cells cannot replicate indefinitely. They can divide 50 to 70 times and then they go into senescence. That means an organ is depleted of the renewal forces and that's end-stage heart failure. That's also atrial fibrillation. So, if you are able to retrieve stem cells from a site where you have enough healthy cells left, like in the adipose tissue, in the fat tissue, because it's very nicely vascularized, you can retrieve those cells, you can prepare them, concentrate them, and within the same session, within an hour, inject into the heart. This is, might sound a little bit utopic, but we have strong data in several animal, large animal studies that show that you can replace even the fibrosis. So in chronic ischemic heart disease, you can replace the fibrosis with new muscle mass, which is partly built by the stem cells, but also the stem cells activate the renewal force of the heart. The cardiomyocytes re-enter the cell cycle. In, in effect, you overcome that heart failure by providing new renewal forces to the heart. So that's part of the concept, but it goes beyond that. We are able also to trigger in a dish, in a laboratory, our stem cells from an old patient, which are unmodified, they are not IPS cells, they are just the right cells you need to find, and we can educate those cells to become pacemaker cells, for example. So I believe it might take not too long until we can inject those pacemaker cells in a patient which has a sinus node disease or even accelerate the AV conduction again. Now, until it will be clinical practice, it will take some time, but I have no doubt that this will be the future of medicine. Currently we talk about quadripolar leads, we talk about defibrillators and so on, uh, ablations. In the future, I think we will shift more and more to biologics. We will learn how we can overcome slow conduction with uh, stem cells, how we will learn how we can uh, prevent tachyarrhythmias with stem cells. We will learn how we can revert the fibrosis in the atrium following chronic atrial fibrillation with stem cells and find a natural cure for those uh, things.